all this time, you knew he was alive. You lied to us. <laughs> Again. And you wonder why we don't trust you. Look, they were searching for something on a Sith-occupied world. If we were captured, and the Sith tried to poke us for information, and they found out what they were doing, because you all knew what they were doing, then that would make their lives a lot harder. <laughs> That's amazing. Go. Look. Look at the roll. I, I do see the roll. We're all talking. The only way to fail is to get a nat one. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> you did jinx it. That's a, that's a lot of nat ones what? happening at the really? beginning what? of the session. Really? Yeah, come out of the way now. Really? Look at this. Look at this. Okay, they're yeah, not can do all. That damage isn't that one. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they're they're not all D twenties, but come on, that's four nat ones in a row. And my <laughs> my other nat one earlier. What? Okay, the, the Mandalorians look at Dell and say, This all sounds very strange. Do you have any concrete proof about what's going on here? And how did Dell get mixed up in all of this? I mean, how did Ajax get mixed up in all of this? <laughs> they have this weird sense that they're the same person. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't shake it. There's a very similar aura about them. Which is odd because they're very much not alike. Can I try and share what I saw? What do I do? Oh, I mean, it's a nice GM question. That's what I intend to do. I will say, this is why I think he is alive. Oh, okay. And then, whatever I must roll or etc. Yeah, just roll, use the force. Okay, so everyone sees a vision of Ajak laying in a cot underneath the stars without his helmet on, sleeping. And that is where he is right now. And the intention was for the Mandalorians to see that too. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we need to find out to see if he's okay. If he needs help, how can we find him using this power? No, we can't keep looking for him. I was trying to communicate with them before, but they're surrounded by Sith presence. So if we keep trying to use the force to find them the sith may be able to find them as well the sith may be able to find them look 
the best thing that we can do right now for them and their mission is to create as much of a distraction here to draw the Sith's attention away from them. And I'm all for that because if he's dead, I can't smack him. Are you even trying to help the people opposed to Sith here, or are you just trying to create a distraction using this group to your own means? We can do both at the same same time, can't we? I've frankly had quite enough of the Sith. I would be quite pleased with causing them no end of trouble. Of course, once all of this is over, I can get back to what I have been intending to do all along, but that is neither here nor there. So can we get back on track, please? The information, the data. The Mandalorians look at each other and they say, I think the data can wait till tomorrow. We're going to bed. Kaz is visibly annoyed. So the two Mandalorians walk out of the room. with two angry force users. Will we ever see him again? Time will tell. Okay, so I'll hold him in the air. <laughs> <laughs> but no, because he just turns around and walks out. Staff clanking with each step. What is Dirk doing? Dirk is just standing there grinning at everybody. Oblivious to all the tension. Because he knew Ajax was alive, he wouldn't just abandon him. Um, exactly. The Mandalorian that he knew for all of what, two, three hours? Is very attached for those uh, two, it was at hours. least like a whole afternoon plus the party. Two or three hours? <laughs> and how is um pretending to die and running off on this other mission less quote unquote abandoning him than uh actually dying in that. What? Do you want to ask Dirk that? I'm a bit too focused on Dell right now. Very... <sighs> I'm trying to, trying to think of the right word. Disappointed, disapproving look something like that v very yeah she is not happy and shortly after because leaves, she turns around and walks away Kind of nudges at Dirk to for, for him to come leave the room too, but doesn't 
really drag him along or anything. Yeah, she goes. He, I mean, he follows after you. Is everyone else going to bed, or what? I think you guys are the last ones to leave. Yep, officially for the next uh, hour or so, Jarat is trying to do a trance, but he'll give up after uh, at the end of the hour and just go to sleep all the all the tension from our uh, incident is spilling over to him somehow through the force <laughs> something like that right I don't know if I'd say that but definitely <laughs> something has yeah Kalani, when you get to the quarters, you just see that Ariel went forego the trance and it's just face down in a pillow. <laughs> and I guess Kalani will do the same in her bed. But what is her setup anyway? Yeah, so you guys stayed here the previous night, so you guys have the same accommodations you did before, which is basically like there's just like a men's quarters and a women's quarters, mm. where everyone has like a bunk in a so. big common room. So yeah, Kalani will go right down in her bunk and probably think things over for a bit kind of restless, but eventually fall asleep. Roger attack, everyone! Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's actually a record-breaking um, roll. Uh, go back to sleep. When is this happening? They did say that she was awake and restless for a bit. It doesn't affect you, Kalani. Way to work the angle, though. Almost, almost got it. <laughs> Somebody noticed. <laughs>
the equivalent at the table is you just see the GM rolling a bunch of yes. dice. <laughs> be like, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Clattering and writing down notes. Hmm, let me consult my notebooks. Hmm, very intriguing. The real the whole compound explodes. A note passes from Bazak to the GM. More notes pass back and forth. <laughs> the GM also rolls between... a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, also, the cause um... goes to bed. Um, Bazak, the reason he made you roll use the force again is because um, you had to roll to see if Dell would notice you using it first. It's a lot less scary when you can see the numbers. I'm just noticing that it's way more fun when you're hiding it and you're just looking at your players, putting notes down and rolling <laughs> again. Not for me, I know what's happening. <laughs> It is sad. Not really scary, just sad. Are you trying to steal parts to fix the droids? No. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Um. I think we have one less droid, guys. <laughs> oh, someone's going pop, pop. Well. Well, roll a 1d9 to see which one it was. Please be i7. Please be i7. No. Oh. <laughs> he was the most hurt one. And I know that it's very unlikely that it was him. Okay, so the one next morning comes around and you guys all wake up. I'm immediately in the mess hall finding something for breakfast. Okay. Whenever six hours is over from when I went to horse trance, that is when I get up. <laughs> Another nat one. Perfect. Perfect. My nat one spell is working. You guys are just distracting everybody too much. <laughs> Nobody can focus anymore. <laughs> oh. Everyone's a little, little tense. Yeah, eight hours of sleep gives you your character level in health. I took no damage. My stealth mission was amazing. So I don't need to worry about it. I have four, full health because force cheats. Be glad I did something, because we made the GM waste one of his nat 20s. <laughs> something tells me he has a lot more where they came from, because I gotta be yeah. somewhere, because they're not with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he stole our large nat 20s and gave us all, <laughs> all Listen, his nat 1s. Listen, if you wasted one, that's one less that he rolls on us. Okay, uh, he'll have plenty to, to spare by the end of the session. Ariel. I wave at them and invite them to sit with me, but I don't say anything at the TV. Is John here? I figured he'd be here in the morning. John is not there. Hey, what is up everyone else doing when they get up? Scott probably goes to check on the droids. I'm doing the thing that I whispered you about. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to do while asking everyone else what they're doing. <laughs> and, and get a status report of Operation Blind. 
No, no, blinders. Operation blinders. There we go. Uh, Gerard will come into uh, breakfast a little bit later than uh, he would normally would. A little bit later in Ariel, but uh, he'll be there. He's looking rather sullen and upset in general. Oh, is she going to breakfast? Yeah. As soon as I see her, I wave her over and I say, Kalani, over here! Save your seat! She'll come over and look a little bit less upset. And try to smile. Grab a okay. tray. Don't grab the green food. It's disgusting. But the rest is fine. Uh, okay. Do I want to know what it is? Are you sure, Ari? It's always a way to wake up this early in the morning. What'd it be? <laughs> Gerard just has a really big smile on his face. Pretty sure Calf does the same thing, Gerard. And the, the calf here is preferable to the green stuff. I don't even know what it's called, it just looks like mush. Do I want to know what any of this is? Well, you may try to ask if you wish, but... That probably means no. The red stuff kind of tastes like fruit. And aerial shrugs. Eh, I guess I can try that. So, it's been a while since we've seen you. What's uh, new? Uh, traveling with some new friends. Uh, you ever get knighted? Uh, yes. Just, uh, just the other day, actually. That is wonderful news, that it is. I'm glad. Nice. So what'd you do after your trials? Oh, long story. It wasn't quite the normal, um, the, the normal structured trials. <laughs> <laughs> what are they ever? Yeah, true. It's nowadays. Yeah, well. Best to think about better things, but I'm sure you've got a, a story or two to tell. We got all morning. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, but uh, should probably go back to the very beginning. It all started on Telos. And she'll go into the telling the story. Ariel listens, she interjects it now and then to, for clarification or to say something like, wow, or you no. Know, but mostly she just eats and listens. Yeah, Jura is the same way. Uh, do you mention the box? I imagine so. I'll be. Uh, I'll avoid mentioning too many. Uh, personal details, especially because. Because you don't want to be assassinated. 
Uh, just kind of gloss over if there were challenges related to our past and that such stuff like that. I'll explain it like that. That is the most intriguing device then that it is. Sounds like it facilitated the most important part of the trials, facing yourself. I remember when I went through mine, <sighs> that was the scariest part. Yeah, I'll probably go into a bit more detail about my own part of the trial. Not too much, I suppose, even then, because I'm trying to... We, we, don't, we have time, but not unlimited time. So I'm, I'm trying to summarize the whole story, but you know what I mean. I'm not holding back as much about my own part of that. Because they know me. So, how are you doing then? Have you ever had a chance to think about what happened when you were a kid, or? Yeah, well, that's the whole reason I became a Jedi. Help protect others from having to go through that themselves. Well, I for one am glad you did. We need more fun Jedi in the Order. Too many people like Jay have all discipline and no fun. <laughs> Yes, yes. Too like many it. people like me. As he narrows his eyes, quote unquote. <laughs> you pro probably can see his brow scrunching up or something like that. It was pretty cool, though, that your master was a Miraluka. It made spending time with you all the more interesting. At least there was someone else from home, and I didn't have to explain why I have a bandana over my eyes. You have no idea how many times I've been asked, Do you need change, or can I help you find your way? Ridiculous. So yeah. me two times. <laughs> <laughs> of course you kept count. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good roll. <laughs> if it's not Ow. for anything I will object to. Maybe it'll be yes. But it's a nat 20, so... Yeah, I'm whatever suspicious about that this it, uh, it, that 20 probably that's negated left for us. Because uh, of um, how amazing a roll it is. Uh, what? That was a GM hit. Mm-hmm. Wait, I didn't catch that. He was hint hinting that there shouldn't be any bad things that happened because it was an at twenty. Also at this point Dell walks into the uh mess hall. Also Tiny Tyler will find us. Arrow looks between Kalani. Jarrod and then Dell kind of looks at Jarrod. So it seems there was a little bit of um, intensity to your relationship recently, huh? Well, he's proved that he's a liar and can't be trusted. Tried to give him the benefit of the doubt before. Don't think I can anymore. Well, it is understandable that it is. Didn't he used to be a Jedi? I heard that somewhere. 
just kind of nod, staring down at my tray. Ariel kind of frowns at Gerard. What are you going to do? <sighs> I, I still don't know. We're on the mission together and still need him. <sighs> we, we still have to work together, but I just don't think I can. Trust him. Not anymore. Well, to uh, working with somebody doesn't necessarily mean you have to trust him. Not completely. Uh, his motives and decisions are his own. You can't make them for him, and you can't change what he decided already in the past. But you can help him see or move forward and go to the future. Perhaps that is your calling to help him to <laughs> come back as it were. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh. <laughs> See, that's I'm on a roll. all the 20s. Literally. Come on. <laughs> oh, if you guys knew what I was wasting the 20s on. <laughs> I mean, I know what you're wasting that 20 on. I know. <laughs> okay, I, I where was I? I have a guess at what I'm wasting this 20 on. But it's not a waste. <laughs> don't care. Okay, where was I before the uh, suspicious rolls uh, distracted us? <laughs> uh, Gerard's trying to help you keep a positive outlook. You may have to work together. And uh, he... Uh, not trusting is kind of uh, is one of those things that does happen and such. He understands it, but when there's a job to do, you've got to do the job, kind of thing. And Ariel nods and she says, "There is no emotion. There's peace." Connie like sighs and most of the tension bleeds out of her. Nods. Thank you. <laughs> I get the feeling you haven't been around real Jedi for a long time. Well, I was telling you the story. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I'll... Hmm? I was just gonna say, you're with now. As long as you're with us, we'll remind you what it's like. Thanks. That is true. You've got us here to help you out at least. If nothing else, then to be a sounding board at least for a little while. So, uh, I better, I, I probably should get back to that story so you have some idea of what's going on. Please do. Start by telling us what happened when we got here, eventually. Oh, that's quite a bit further in the story. Alright, sorry. I saw you have your trouble in the cantina, and I'm just eager to find out what was really going 
Okay, out of character, which tree are you referring to? <laughs> when you guys are on Ventoline. Oh, uh... <laughs> oh, that, um... Well, we went into the canteen, uh, we were... There, there was stuff related to the mission at, at that point, and, um... Suddenly this fight broke out, and these people seemed to be trying to kill this guy. And I intervened to stop them. Apparently now I find out that they were actually plants trying that it, it, it was fake and... <sighs> oh, that was you? Okay, because I walks into the mess hall. Del is glaring at him. <laughs> Ariel looks over and just kind of waves friendly at him. Does lifts a hand and waves back. And walks over to get use. Del walks over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have mentioned some of that in the story. Uh, he's um, very mysterious, very... <sighs> I can't figure out his reasoning for things. And he has some very impressive powers. That is one way to put it that it is. <laughs> yeah, I got some of this power right next to my face. Hmm? What in the in the warehouse? He used this dark storm at one point, twice actually. Once I was a little too close to it, he nearly got me. Yes, he's rather disturbing that way. Uh, he, he uses these powers, but I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, at that moment, all of a sudden, you guys hear like loud stomping sounds, and then <laughs> one of the Mandalorians, the one in the red armor, <laughs> walks into the cafeteria, and you see. Um, that she looks fairly young, maybe like around 16-ish, and she has brown hair, and she bears a resemblance to Ajak, and she has the same like piercing gray stare as he does. And she looks, has like a red flush to her cheeks, she looks very angry, and she says, WHAT THE BLEASES HAPPENED TO MY HELMET?! WHY DOES IT LOOK LIKE SOMEONE STUCK A VIRO DAGGER IN IT?! And she just glares at everybody, and she's just holding her helmet in her hand, shaking it around, as she stares at everyone. Have to make a very roll. baffled, very very baffled blinking. What? Ariel looks around the room to see if she can find the guilty culprit. And Gerard is just kind of staring at the helmet, going, "What in blazes?" Can I roll Wait. a use of force check to see if someone feels like, guilty or giddy or has a reaction? Sure. I shall try it as well. <laughs> Here's something for uh, me. And I shall try deception. <laughs> there should be opposed rules, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, you can roll deception. You're too the busy <laughs> trying to keep wisdom. everybody el else out. The initial wisdom rule was to decide whether or not I was just going to have him start laughing, or to what degree. 
but he rolled really well. Kalani notices Pakaz looking very suspicious and guilty, <laughs> and trying to refrain from laughing. Narrow my eyes at him. He looks bemused, whatever that looks like on a kill. Dark my eyes between him and his mental orange. He's just going about his getting juice. Taking it a little bit longer than it should take, actually, and not turning around. Well, where did you leave the helmet? Who had access to it? I left it right next to my cot. Well, I've been having breakfast all morning. Well, someone did something to it, because now it's completely ruined. Why would they do that? <laughs> Trying very hard not to look at the cause if she says that part. Okay, now you have to roll deception. <laughs> 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 yes, that's exactly what. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Okay, that's unusual. You know, it's wonderful. You really want to cover for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, she just doesn't want the fight that would break out break out because she knows that the cause would win and things would be very bad. She also legitimately doesn't, doesn't know why someone someone would do that so the actual curiosity um maybe covers for it the suspicion or maybe you're just genuinely not certain if it really was him because you don't know why but then again who knows why because that's what he does where is that well gotta be a way to fix it is anyone here Good at armor making. What my system means is, is there anyone here who is an armor smith who might be able to repair some armor? I don't care that it's fixed. I just want to find whoever did this. I guess I'll just go look at the security footage. She stalks out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll well? go find. I'll go get her. Ariel right. gets up and falls her. <laughs> Thinks of a certain incident with security footage before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Del got us out of that one. <laughs> Only this Has a strange time. look on her face. Well, you don't have to worry because cloak droids are cloaked. I mean, they were caught in the end, so it will, depends on how persistent this Mandalorian is. Listen, Mandalorian, what do you persistent. think? Yeah, since you since you melted, since you destroyed her helmet, probably pretty persistent. I mean, I didn't tell him to destroy it. I just said. Disabled it. visual stuff. Nothing else. Yes, but we already Disabled. decided how poor the mechanics rolls of those things are. <laughs> so what was that 28 roll then? What? Well, you rolled a 20 on perception. Or you rolled a 20. It was either for perception or something. And then you rolled a 28 after the stealth was yeah. for the droid. Yeah, the droids got a 23 on their stealth. I decided to have Perception be rolled at disadvantage because they were asleep. Yeah, I see. And then one of the droids got a 5, so that completely ruined the other helmet. Luckily, the other helmet was successfully only disabled perfectly because it got a net 20. Well, that's good. At least one of them was only disabled. I, I can point to that when you catch me. Say, I wasn't trying to get your helmets destroyed, I was just trying to play a prank, and my droids are incompetent. 
Yeah, I don't think they're gonna like yeah, you I'm at very all for confused. That. I don't think they're gonna I be know. very happy. I I'm very confused. Kalani's not the only one who doesn't understand what is going on and why that what? Also, you guys all noticed that John is completely absent. Hmm. So, so, what exactly did you do to make Jashar aware that you knew what they were doing? Jashar told me that he knows that you know that he and Ajax are on the planet. So, what what did you? Oh, do Jashar is that other guy? Nothing. You remember that I said that reaching out to them is dangerous, right? Everything's dangerous. So you'd prefer to have the shadow stuck on you forever, then? God sips his use. Has anyone seen John? Did you say that to the whole room? Yeah. Jarrod will look up and say, No, I have not seen him that I have not. Because will. Actually, first. Why not? Oh, great GM, show me John. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I do. I think I do. And we're back to the nut ones. <laughs> oh, um, it finally. Well, well, the security cameras show nothing. They accidentally erased all the photos. <laughs> well, that is very unfortunate for us. It's buddy. perfect for me. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> that one on the other side. Okay, because you see John sleeping in a small, what appears to be, hotel room. He went and found a hotel room to go sleep in. And then the guy just goes and walks out of the room with his juice. As he, as he walks out, you hear him say, If anyone needs me, I'll be fixing the droids. Also, would we be approaching a good time to take a break? Sure, let's take a break. Okay, we will reconvene in 10 minutes. Alright. At 11.40... 11.58. Wait, really? <laughs> 10.58? See, I can tell with time conversions. 10.58. Eastern time, right? Yeah. For Eastern, okay. yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, be right back.